Hello and welcome to another episode of The Top Shelf with me, Shantanu D. Uh, today, uh, we are talking about a very special pen and uh, it's a new pen, it's a new design by Lamy and it's called the Lamy Idios or the Idios. Right, now let's take a look at this pen. Uh, first and foremost, this is a standard Lamy box. It has an outer sleeve and the pen box has the pen and underneath you have two cartridges, warranty card and a manual for all the other Lamy pens. By the way, this pen also came with a converter. Right, so this is the Lamy Idios. Quite an attractive new pen, I must say. And it's a very unique pen because it's got this uh, teardrop shaped uh, design and it's uh, rounded at the bottom and, and pointy towards the top So really quite an interesting design choice uh, I believe this pen was designed uh, by an Austrian design company called EOS design Very much continuing in the tradition of Lamy working with design houses and or uh, famous industrial designers right what else? Now, this pen has a hinged clip and it's quite shiny with the Lamy logo over here. The material is this brushed metal and uh, this finish is called the palladium finish. So it's sort of like this satiny finish. Uh, if I were to describe the feeling of this pen, it feels somewhere between something like what a CP1 feels like and what a Lamy Ion feels like. So uh, really quite interesting. And uh, towards the back, you have these two ears, which are used uh, for uh, uh, when you want to post the pen. Uh, towards the bottom, again, you have this drop shaped design. It's really quite cool. I quite like this pen. And really kudos to Lamy for, uh, you know, really experimenting and uh, coming up with new pen designs. It's not something that's easy to do. Uh, you have to create a lot of new machinery and a lot of uh, new dyes, etc, etc. Right, so if I open up this pen, you have this interesting nib, which we have seen before in the Lamy Ion. It's called the Lamy Z53. This is a medium. Now, the grip section is also rather interesting because the design aesthetic of the drop shape is right up to this part, as you can see. It's a sort of a humped design. It's not quite triangular. So as it goes down, it becomes circular like any other pen. And uh, it's reminiscent of the studio, but not quite the studio. So for instance, uh, you would be thinking that this is a triangular shape grip and it's like the Lamy Safari. Well, I have a Lamy Safari over here to give you a comparison of the two. Now, as you can see, the indentation is fairly pronounced in the Lamy Safari. So when you hold the Lamy Safari, you hold it like this. And uh, this part and the top part is flat and this part is rounded. And if you look at the Edios, similar, the bottom part is rounded, but the top part doesn't have those indentations on the side. What that means is that you can hold the grip the pen like this, like this. So if you have a different grip uh, style, uh, it's perfectly fine. It's not, uh, it's not a hindrance. It's not as restrictive as say the Lamy Safari can be for some people. Right, so moving on, if we look at the barrel, the interesting part about this pen is that it has you know, the, the way this pen has been made, it's highly, highly industrial in its design and it's very, very well engineered. And when you open the section to reveal the converter, there are no threads. Instead, you have these two lugs over here on two sides which are essentially a sort of a locking mechanism. So I'll try to demonstrate that to you. You 
this is the locking mechanism inside. I'll put some photographs for your convenience. So you put it in there. That's it. There is no uh, winding of the section. So just two clicks and you're done. So that is the uh, the overall design of this pen. It's uh, very, very comfortable to write with. Very well balanced. I like pens where, you know, the the weight of the pen is slightly on the forward part of the pen and that's always better than the weight of the pen being on the backward side of the pen. Let's take a look at some of the comparisons with some other pens so that you get a sense of the of the aesthetic of this pen. You have over here the Lamy Ion. I have shown you the Lamy Ion because it's got a similar nib, the same nib in fact, and this one's a fine and that one is a medium. Just to show you the, the close-up of the two nibs. As you can see, the nib, the medium has a bit more tipping than the fine. Overall, I think the Lamy Z53 nibs are a bit more consistent and a bit more traditional in their uh, nib sizes than the um, the traditional, the usual Lamy uh, nibs that you get. And here I have the Lamy CP1. So uh, I mentioned earlier about how this pen feels. So if you can see the Lamy Ion has this, uh, has this slightly grooved, not grooved, but sort of a rough finish. And the CP1 has this sort of smoother satiny finish. The Eidos is somewhere in between when it comes to the feel the overall feel of this uh, of the pen. Now let's take a look at the Lamy CP1 and the Edios together because uh, at first glance they seem very similar but you'll see that they're not quite. The CP1 is shorter, the Edios is longer as well as these uh, this groove over here when you uh, Post the CP1 is a bit different from the EDOS. The one similarity is that the clip is uh, pretty much the same, although the clip on the EDOS is uh, shinier as opposed to the CP1, which is this brushed metal. Apart from that, everything else is different. The uh, the sections, of course, the <laughs> The CP1 is much slimmer than the EDOS. So yes, there are certain similarities, but I wouldn't call them similarities and I would not call this a lack of uh, uh, design input. I think that it goes really well with the overall aesthetic of Lamy, which it has uh, developed over the past 50, 60 odd years. And it's a very futuristic and future oriented and future looking pen. Right, enough about this pen. Let's take a look at how this uh, pen writes. Uh, I have over here uh, Midori MD paper and I've used diamine uh, soft mint. In the, and of course the nib is a medium. And the weight is 29 grams odd. So it's really, uh, I find that the Z53 convert uh, the Pardon me, the nibs are uh, much more reliable than the usual Lamy nibs, as well as the fact that I think that this nib suits this the the pen quite well. As compared to the Ion, which in which this nib seems a little smaller for the chunkiness of the Ion. Here it's very streamlined and I think it's very, very well done. So this is uh, essentially what this pen is all about. I've been using it for about a month and a half and uh, it's very responsive. It's very solidly made. There is no moving parts. There's no rattle. There is nothing of that sort. And uh, even for those of you who find, you know, the grip section to be a put off or a turn off, it's not. I think it's quite intelligently designed and I would urge you to uh, try it out. Right, 
So let's write with these pens. First and foremost, the wetness. This is a fairly wet nib, but not overly wet. I think the nib has been tuned rather well. And there's some S's over here. It's making a little bit more noise because I'm on a wooden surface. So don't go by that. It's very, very smooth. And if you're a designer or you're an architect or something of that sort, it's very good for all sorts of uses, for writing, for drawing, so on and so forth. So that's pretty much it about the Lamy Idios. I quite enjoy this pen. And uh, I think that, you know, Lamy is doing some good stuff. Uh, and it's not something which is, uh, you know, entirely unique. There have been pens which have been triangular in shape. But at the same time, I love the way that Lamy has retained its aesthetic design value or sense, I might add and yet has come up with something new and quite original. I think that this is uh, really something that you should get if you have the opportunity. It's slightly on the pricier side as compared to uh, other Lamy's, uh, especially that there's a steel nib. But I suspect that it's all about the design and how much thought has gone into it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review and uh, uh, please don't forget, you've been very kind to like and comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.